Okay, so this is the distance and midpoint one worksheet. So there's two formulas you need here. They are the distance formula and the midpoint formula, and they will not be given to you on your graduation test. So you are responsible for knowing these. They're here on your formula sheet, which you should all have. <clears throat> so the distance formula is given here. You need to memorize this, and the midpoint formula is given here. If you're having trouble memorizing this, I'd recommend writing it a bunch of times. It's a great way to memorize something. Just uh, cover it up, try to write it, cover it up, try to write it until you can write it at least five times in a row without having to look at it, and then you'll have it memorized. Okay, so the first problem says, a student plotted points R and S on a coordinate grid. Point R is at 7, 2, and point S is at 4, negative 2. So I'm going to start with these points. So they are 7, 2, and 4, negative 2. Now remember, when, whenever we're given an ordered pair, which is just one number and then another number inside parentheses like this, our first number is always x, and our second number is always y. And because this is the first point, I'm just going to call this x1, and this y1, and this x2, and this y2. It doesn't actually matter which one is 1 and which one is 2. That's not important, so don't, don't worry about that too much. But it does matter that x comes before y in both cases. So now it says, what is the distance between r and s? All right, so now I will apply my distance formula. So I'll grab it here from my formula sheet. I need you to memorize it, but I'll show you this is where it comes from, but then I want you to memorize it. After you have it memorized, you should have d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so now I'll plug in. So I know that x2 is 4. So 4 minus 7, that's x1, squared plus negative 2 minus 2 squared. Okay, 4 minus 7, that's negative 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. That's negative 2 minus 2. Okay, important point, you ready? This is an easy calculator mistake. If you type this in, let's say you type in negative three squared, and I press enter, I get negative nine. Hmm, so is that the right answer? It actually is not. So to get this right, you need to use parentheses, just like in the formula. So we need to put a negative three squared like that. So this time, I put parentheses around the number. So I'll press enter, and I get positive nine. And in general, you should actually never, ever, 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 ever get a negative number as a result of squaring something. So if you get a negative number, then you should be suspicious, unless there's an i involved, but that's, that's for another day. So here we have the square root of 9 plus 16, which is the square root of 25, which equals 5. So our answer must be b. OK. <clears throat> Problem number two says, what is the midpoint of line segment AD. And in this case, it's our job to pick out the coordinates of point AD off the graph. So if I look at my graph carefully here, I can figure out what the coordinates of point AD, or point A and point D. So to get to point A, I go one, two to the left. I know this is my x-axis. X is always left, right. Y is always up, down. So to get to my A value, I go two units to the left. So that means for my point A, the x value is negative 2. So I found the x value of my point A. To find the y value, I need to go up and down. So the y value, let's see, I'm going to go up 1, right? And because I went up, it's going to be positive 1. So there's point A. Point B, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units over to the right. So remember, to the right is positive. So I get positive 5 and I'm gonna go up one, so that's positive one. All right, and here's the midpoint formula. Again, it's on your formula sheet. I need you to commit it to memory before your test. You gotta memorize this. So it is midpoint equals x1 plus x2 over two, comma, y1 plus y2 over two. Notice the midpoint formula gives us two values. And the reason for that is that the midpoint formula gives us the middle of the line. So I can kind of picture here, you know, it's going to give us the point that's right in the middle of A and D. 
And because in algebra, points have two coordinates, an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate, that's why the midpoint formula gives us two answers. One is for x, one is for y. All right, so back to our same job from last time. I'll label this, so this will be x1, this will be y1, x2, y2. Again, like last time, the ones and twos aren't important, but the x's and y's are very important. So this could have been two, this could have been one. Uh, that's fine, but my ones and twos have to match. So now I'll say midpoint equals, so negative two plus five over two, comma, one plus one over two. So I just plugged in the values, and now m equals, so you can put this into your calculator if you like. You should get 3 over 2, okay? And for here, you should get 2 over 2, which is just 1. Again, you can use your calculator if you'd like to. Now, 3 halves, that's a nice answer, but I don't see anything, and any, none of my answers are fractions, so I need to convert that. If you're confused on that, I want you to type in 3 divide 2 into your calculator. Type in 3 divide 2, press Enter, and now remember this button, the button right above the inner sign, will convert it into a a uh, decimal. Actually, it already was a decimal, excuse me. So if you have a fraction, though, let's say you already have a fraction, you can convert it into a decimal back and forth. Anyway, the fraction is, or the decimal is 1.5, so my answer is 1.5 comma 1. So the answer is C. Notice on B, they tried to trick you, they just switched the order, right? So be careful, they're definitely gonna, they're gonna try to trick you. All right. So look at question number three with me. Question three says, what is the length of line segment AB? Okay. So kind of like last time, our job is to find the coordinates of point A and the coordinates of point B. So to find A, I go one, two, three, four, five to the left. So it's negative five is my X value. And my Y value, I go up three, so it's positive three. Okay. Now to find my coordinates of point B, I go one, two, three over, so that's three is my X value, and negative three is my Y value, because I went one, two, three down. All right, now let's label these suckers. So X, Y, X1, Y1, and X2, Y2. Okay, distance formula. So make sure you have that memorized. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my numbers here. So I remember it's X2 minus X1. Here I get minus negative five, so you gotta be careful with your minus signs. And here, I have minus three, minus three squared. Okay, so three minus negative five is eight. You can use your calculator if you'd like. If you do, make sure you type in three minus negative five, like that. Okay, and now three minus three is actually negative six, so I'll write plus negative six squared. Okay, eight squared is 64. Negative six squared is 36, not negative 36, but plus 36. Remember to use your parentheses. If you put that into your calculator, you should get positive 36. This is the square root of 100, which is 10. So the answer must be C. All right, last problem. So this is number four. And it says, <clears throat> if a line segment were drawn between points B and C on the graph, the midpoint of the segment would be. All right, so like usual, our job is to find some coordinates here. So the coordinates of point B looks like they are negative two comma three. Those are the coordinates of point B. And the coordinates of point C are two comma negative two. All right, so now we need to apply our midpoint formula. You should have it memorized. If you don't, I want you to stop right now, pause the video, memorize it, and then come back. So here's the midpoint formula. We're gonna do x1 plus x2. So that, oh, let me label these first. Actually, I skipped a step. I want you to label these on your test because it's, it's so easy to make mistakes. So make sure you label your points just like that. x1, y1, x2, y2. So x1 plus x2 is gonna be two plus negative two over two, comma, three plus negative two over two. Okay, so this is our midpoint formula. I didn't write the whole formula down, but you should have it memorized. And I just plugged in X and Y. Now two plus negative two, that's the same as two minus two, which is zero over two, comma. And this is three plus negative two, which is the same thing as three minus two, which is one. 
okay? So zero over two, zero over anything is just zero, and one half, all right, so there's our answer. Let's look at our solutions here, and there you go. So the answer must be, it must be A.